Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Ruler here and today, yes, you guessed right, I'm doing another Brickmania kit review. And what we have here, quite a big box. I actually have to step back and hold my camera, otherwise it doesn't fit in the frame. But we have a C23 Sherpa US Forest Services Smoke Jumpers Transport. I have built this kit live, so thank you whoever joined the live streams and checked it out. Also available on my live playlist. And yeah, there's the plane. It's actually already built. And this is what we're gonna look at today. But before we're gonna jump into the plane itself or the build itself, let's go ahead and look at the box. So with box, we have typical stats. So I have a look at them really quickly. So we have Daniel Siski who designed it, 1,682 Lego parts. Obviously we have four minifigs in here and additional brick arm pieces. The skill level for this build is three out of five, which isn't bad. And I agree, it wasn't too bad. Again, I'm just a slow builder and it's a, it's a decent sized kit. And we have kit number here. Let's go ahead and have a look on this image as well. And jump into the instructions right away. One take, one take, <laughs> hashtag. Uh, let's go ahead and open them up and see what's going on. Again, the way it's set up is that's how most of the Brickmania big kits are. There are leather bags and we have three bags here, bag A, bag B and bag C uh, for the stand, which is kind of nice because you do separate the builds in kind of the main builds in two parts, but it's not like the best setup. Like for example, Lego does a number bags on top of that. So it goes actually a little bit easier. I know some other companies, custom Lego military companies do that as well. In this case, you do get just at least the letter backs. Maybe something maybe Brickmania can improve in the future, but I know maybe it takes a lot of resources or whatnot. Anyways, I just want to mention uh, the, the lettering backs. The manuals are pretty clear as all the Brickmania instructions, pretty straightforward, really easy to follow on par with Lego. Also comes with a sticker sheet. Of course, I'm going to look into the plane this pretty awesome Sherpa plane later, and we're gonna discuss all the printed elements, but then it comes with a sticker sheet right here. So we have United States Forest Services. I haven't applied the sticker sheet just in case, because you know, in case I wanna take it apart, put it back in the box. Not a huge fan of stickers because of that, but there are a little bit of those. And nice thing about the manual, you get this cool picture. I'm just gonna show you this. And smoke jumpers jumping out of the plane, which just looks pretty awesome. This could be like a poster or something. And then here, Brickman actually shows you where those stickers are supposed to go. So we have one over here, one over here on the side. And I think this US FS goes under the wings. All right, so here we go. We have a Sherpa on the stand. I will do a little bit of a 360. Had a difficult time fitting it in the frame of my phone camera. Trying to avoid using the wide lens, but I think I made it work. While doing this, Maybe I'll talk about the background of this pretty cool propelled plane. Obviously what you're looking at is the United States Fire Services version, but this is Sherpa C23B, as kind of mentioned previously. It was manufactured by Short Brothers in UK. It was produced from 1984 to 1990. And this is the type of STOL, stall plane, which means short takeoff and landing. This is really good and works out very nicely for United States fire services due to the rugged terrains where they have to use this aircraft. This aircraft also has a big cargo area, which is really good for transportation of freight or any kind of personnel. And we're gonna have a closer look at it when we're gonna look at the model, have everything opened up. And obviously this is used by other agencies, for example, just uh, civil cargo transportation companies also used by United States Air Force and United States Army for paratrooper trainings. So as you can see, it's pretty versatile aircraft due to its capabilities and overall size. That's so much for the background of the aircraft or this plane. Let's go ahead and move on into actual Brickmania model. Let's go ahead and check out the print job and that kind of stuff and have a closer look at the minifix. All right, so I have took off the Sherpa from the spinning table and the base plate, so that way I can show you some of the features and the printed parts a little better and closer. So this one has a lot of printed parts, a lot of printed elements. So we can start from here, everything here is printed, and then it kind of goes into the brick build section. 
But then on here, I don't know how good you can see it on this light. We have a build brick and those two tiles are actually printed. So there's a few places that's been done. And then here on top of the wing on the left side, we have USFS printed. Also, all the windows are printed. And then the same thing on this side too. We have some spots like here. Again, the printed tiles. And this is a door that opens up. So I'll go ahead and show you some of the opening doors and the cargo bay, which is pretty cool. So you have this cargo bay that all the paratroopers or smoke jumpers can fit in. Of course, you can put the cargo as well. That's what basically they do. They drop off the, well, the, the smoke jumpers jump off first and they drop off the cargo, all the stuff that they need to fight the fires with. So this one pops open. The propellers spin and they are brick built. So this one as well, gonna pop up on this door. And then right now we have a landing gear that's basically retracted, but you can take it out. And same here. So you can take those landing gears down. This one's a little tricky because it's like inside. So let me go ahead and try to get it out. But usually I use some kind of piece to help me out. All right, so I got the landing gear down now. Let's go ahead and actually pop some rooftop and see how the inside looks like. So this section pops off, which is quite nice. So it's a little bit playable. So you can fit your pilot minifix and the crew inside. The back section pops open as well. So we can see inside here as well. And also to mention, there's a door right here that pops open. So you can take this one off and that's for the smoke jumpers to jump out. Technically, this door should be open in, on the inside because you can't open outside the doors while the plane is, is in the flight. So kind of like the purpose of that. All right, that's basically all the main features of the plane. All right, a couple more things not to forget right here. I don't know what they're called exactly. On the wings, there's ailerons or whatnot. Stabilizers. Uh, they also move. So this is quite nice. Nice attention to detail. And the same thing on this side as well. But we'll go ahead and try to take this off the stand. In my mind, this, this build is pretty sturdy, but it has one issue and I'm gonna show you in a second. Actually, I don't have to show you, it's right there. It happened by itself. The wheels are not very nicely connected. If I'm gonna like move it like this and you maybe can see, the wheel are just connected by one stud which is not the best or secure, the most secure as it's quite a big model, quite heavy. But I don't have, there's not a big problem actually placing this just fine without any big issues. As you can see, one thing, you cannot really move it that much. The wheel here is just kind of stuck there. And if you start moving, this is gonna pop off. So that's kind of like one negative thing. Overall, the build is very sturdy. I don't have any issues handling this at all. I can just, again, move it around. I can hold it here from this side, from, from the back, from the front. But one small thing, I, I don't know, it depends how small it is for you. But I mean, if you just play it on the stand, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just definitely worth a mention. And this is how you fit it back on the stand. You just kind of put it here. And all good to go. One other thing I forgot to mention previously, it's not a big of a deal, but I guess worth saying it for the review, I had one missing piece and the piece that I was missing, maybe I can take this off really quick and show you. It's this piece right here. And instead of that, I had this one in the kit. So this came from my collection. Of course, you can contact Brickmania and then, or the reseller, whoever else, they're gonna replace this piece or send you the missing piece with no problem at all. But just kind of worth mentioning, again, not a big deal for me. It's just one piece for this huge big kit. No problem at all, but that's the fact. So one piece was basically incorrect. Let's go ahead and put the Sherpa on the side just for now and look at the minifig lineup that came with the kit. So here we go. I made a little bit of a scenery just to make it more realistic as a smoke jumpers. Let's have a closer look. 
give a little bit of a zoom to those guys. So many things are pretty cool. So we have here, we have two pilots and they're the same, they're identical. They have this custom 3D printed helmets, which are really nice. And I think Brickmania kind of sold them or selling them as standalone. And then we have two more of the crew and we have one with a chainsaw. Have a closer look at the chainsaw. This one is... All right, let's try this again. My phone actually ran out of space recording this video, but as I was saying, this is a printed part. And on top, this is also Brickmania custom printed cappies with the headphones. Another kind of negative thing outside this wheel situation I have about this kit that some of this, and this is not related even to the kit itself. Some of those 3D printed cappies, they don't fit too well maybe not being like really tested or maybe some parameters are not the best. This one's a little tight to fit. That's what she said. <laughs> so I struggled with that getting on top of this minifig, but finally I did. So it's actually worked out pretty fine. But again, just maybe some Q QC issues or things that maybe Brickmania should work out, making sure those 3D elements fit fine. Then we also have, again, this is part of the kit, the printed crate. I'm assuming this is the crate that they will keep the chainsaw or the kind of equipment they need to this you know the smoke jumpers need to fight the wildlife fire and then this one is not part of the kit but i want to include it as well this one you could buy it separately as a standalone minifig from brickmania as you can see here it has a pretty cool 3d printed backpack and we have this printed face kind of texture printed face, kind of represents the mesh pattern on the helmet. And this figure actually has a very nice print job, has all this extra maybe like safety parachute, another one, you have all the straps, all the gear, all the hooks. And as you can see, this is probably one of the last land of fix that he made. So he has his name in the back. I know that maybe didn't show close up on the pilot. Go ahead and give maybe a quick close up on the pilot as well. So also get a nice print job, both the sides, the back. And guess what? Lando, Lando, Lando been here. It's his, his design, his work on those. So pretty cool. All right, just a little background on those smoke junk person with the do, which is pretty crazy job. Maybe do a little bit of reenactment right here. So we have a Sherpa flying by. Phew. I know it's a little zoom. I'm gonna take this off, really pop the door open. I think it goes this way, yeah. And then we actually have a stud here. I don't know if you can see it, but you can place a smoke jumper right over here. And what they do is they basically fly over the wildfire somewhere in the forest or the woods, maybe close up. And then what they do is they basically they jump out of the plane on a low altitude. So basically you have to activate the parachute like right away, then the land. And then they do like another round flyby and what they do is they drop from the cargo bay, which is from the back, as I kind of showed before, they drop all the gear, all the saws and that kind of stuff. And those dudes, which is pretty insane, what they do is they go around all these areas that can catch fire. And basically they cut those trees, bushes and whatever else, like here with a chainsaw. And they can stay up in the woods for up to like two or three days because they have all the equipment and gear and food. they have to get ready like really shortly like in three minutes something insane like that to fight the fires i know do a lot of trainings too as this is a must to make sure you do know how to handle all the kind of situations so it's a pretty tough job as you can probably tell from me just this talking about and maybe a fun fact to mention about the smoke jumps maybe you didn't know and this is it right here you might be asking yourself why am i showing you why am i showing you world war ii brick mini minifig and more specifically, this is 101st Airborne Filthy 13. And the reason I'm showing you is actually in 1940, William Lee, a major in the United States Army, visited a smoke jumper training camp in Montana. He was so impressed with the training and possibilities, military possibilities, that he basically incorporated and created into the Army. And thus, the 101st Airborne Filthy 13 were born. So here we go. This is a bit interesting fact that maybe you didn't know. In conclusion, this is pretty, in my opinion, this is pretty awesome kit. I love the colors on it. Definitely gonna mention this. Unfortunately, now it's retired on Brickmania website. You cannot pick this up anymore. You can still get it from some of the Brickmania resellers. This is basically what I've done. I picked it up on Black Friday with 30% off. However, I have to mention that Brickmania has another version, which is the United States Army version. I think they're still available. It's pretty cool. It has a lot of printed elements as well. It has pretty cool shock mouth engines. 
uh, mounted right there. So yeah, check it out if you're interested. Again, I will only recommend things on sale, not sponsored, leave anything off. I hope you enjoyed this review. Hope it wasn't too long. I appreciate you putting a like on this video. I appreciate you subscribing if you want. If you want more content, of course, there's going to be more views hopefully coming on this channel. All right, once again, thank you very much. Have a good the rest of the week. Bye for now. Peace.